I want to talk today about a very specific nerve that comes up when people are complaining about either recurrent ankle sprains or Achilles tendonitis. One of the nerves that supplies that area, the lateral side of the foot, back of the Achilles tendon, uh, is called the sural nerve. And in many cases, this nerve is overlooked by a lot of professionals because it's not a what's called motor nerve. In other words, it does not supply muscles. It's not involved in moving the foot or moving the ankle or moving the Achilles tendon. It is just a sensory nerve. However, what we often find is that when people have recurrent ankle sprains, right, they, they sprain the ankle all the time, or they have Achilles tendonitis, often that is a result of a decrease in sensory awareness, right? In other words, if your brain doesn't know where your ankle is, it's more likely to let it roll out whenever you step on that rock when you're out for a hike. So what we're going to do is show you a quick little nerve glide or nerve flossing exercise for the sural nerve. We found this to be extremely effective for many people. So here's how we do it. We're going to sit um, comfortably. You can do it on the floor, but I normally recommend for most people, particularly if you have a problem that you begin in a chair. I'm going to be at the edge of the chair, sitting up nice and tall. And the key ideas here, it's going to, we're going to be setting up kind of like a hamstring stretch but really what's going to drive this into the sural nerve is what I do with my foot and ankle. So our basic positioning, I'm gonna be here, the working leg is gonna be straight in front of me, the knee will be locked. I'll be sitting up nice and tall, and now I'm going to assume this foot position. I'm gonna pull my toes up toward my knee, and now I'm going to invert my ankle. In other words, I'm gonna take my toes and I'm gonna move them to the inside of my leg. So toes to the knee, toes to the inside, dorsiflexion and inversion. Now from here, I'm going to simply begin to hinge forward from the waist. If you are really targeting the sural nerve and you have a problem there, you will likely already be feeling a small amount of tingling, kind of ant-like sensation on the lateral side of the ankle and maybe across the, the lateral surface of the foot. That means that you're right on target, all right? So again, we're here. Toes up, toes in. We hinge forward. Now, once we're in this position, we need to do a little bit of flossing work. In other words, we need to move the nerve through the tissue. So the way that I normally like to have people do this in the beginning is to use the knee. So I get a little tension on the nerve, bend the knee to take tension off, straighten the knee to put tension on. So we'll do that for five or six reps. And now I'm gonna to go to my hip. For my hip, I'm gonna internally rotate and externally rotate my hip. It's a little hard to maintain your foot position, but that's what you need to do. And then last but not least, I'll come to my lumbar spine. So I'm now gonna flex my low back, extend my low back, flex and extend, usually five repetitions. So five at the knee, five at the hip, five at the low back. After you've done that, shake it out a little bit. And now we will finish this by coming back to the ankle. We'll set up with a little tension on the nerve. Again, you should feel it. And now we're simply going to reverse the foot position toes to the outside to take tension off, toes to the inside to put tension on, out and in, another five reps. When you do these neuromechanic drills, as we call them, keep your tension low. Think three out of 10, not 10 out of 10. I don't want you to injure yourself. I don't want you to overstretch the nerve. So keep this very, very light and gentle. You should feel, again, a small amount of uh, nervy sensation of some type in the distribution of the sural nerve. If you don't know where that is, look at some of our posts check out other blogs or look it up on online. Uh, you should feel a little bit there. The goal here is to re-educate this nerve, get it moving so that your brain can understand where your ankle is. So after you have done the sural nerve work, I highly recommend you stand up and start doing a little bit of balance work or grab a band and do some motor activity, motor act, um, activations for the ankle. The combination of that sensory and motor work is really one of the best things that you can do for that chronic ankle sprain or chronic Achilles tendonitis issue.